Welcome back, folks. This is Mr. O with another episode of Walk Me Through. We're going to continue the walkthrough for The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Um, hold on, let me do something real quick. Time to check my Nintendo Online status here. I think there's some news. Hmm. Yeah, I'll check that out later. Right. Now, in our next video... Right. In our next video, what we're going to do is... We're going to do some dog sitting in the swamp. Now, what do you mean by dog sitting, you may ask? <laughs> well... Sit back, relax, and enjoy this video to find out. Now, as you recall, ow, I was not expecting that. In the last video, we just completed the tail cave, defeated Moldorm. Oh, I'm gonna show you this real quick. Now that I have Rock's Feather, I should have done that before I jump over this gap. Save some time. Anyway, moving on. You can see these two kids panicking just outside the library. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently something happened at Miss at Madame Meow Meow's place. Right. Moving on. And as you can see, their dog is gone. Yeah. Their chain chomp is gone. Yeah, her chain chomp is gone. <laughs> So we're gonna do some, we're gonna do a little dog rescuing. Anyway, moving on into the mysterious forest. Mine. Ow. Just dispatching some moblins along the way. Let's mosey on this way and I'll explain why. Get off of me. Whatever you are. Yeah. Moving on. Uh oh. Ow. Where did that moblin come from? It came out of nowhere. Now that we've gotten Rock's Feather, we'll hop over here and get that second piece of heart. Oh, I meant to press the plus button. But anyway, we got some more of the map uncovered. Time to check to see how many pieces of heart we have so far. Hmm. We've got three so far. Now there's the swamp right there, but we can't quite go into that cave just yet. But we have to go in here. Because, yeah, that is... Oh, I must show you this. Scattered throughout Koholint Island are these owl statues. You don't need a stone beak for one of those. Out here. But in a dungeon, that's a whole different ballgame altogether. Now what were you saying again? Mm -hmm. 
anything on. Let's go in here. Oh yeah. This is where the dog nappers are. Yeah, this is where the dog nappers are located. We got a whole gang of moblins over here to dispatch. Ow! Moving on. We got a big one to dispatch. There's a big moblin here. Uh oh. Olay! <laughs> Yeah, just keep at it. Oh, shit. Oh, he's on to me. Yeah, he is definitely on to me now. Oh, shit. Oh. Ow! Did not mean for that to happen. Yeah, let's just keep at it. Uh-oh. Oh, he is definitely not... Definitely not in the right state of mind to be tricked into running into walls. See what I mean? Oh, shit. Did he? Oh, no. This is not good. He's going to kick my ass. Ah, <laughs> oh, fudge. Oh, foofy. Finish him! Well, that takes care of that. Let's mosey on and rescue this chain chomp. Come here, chain chomp. You're free. Let's take you home. Oh, uh, before we do that, however, let's just go ahead and head on over to the swamp. Now, I'm gonna explain why I'm taking him to the swamp right now. Yeah. And we get another visit from Mr. Owl. Hello, Mr. Owl. Oh, don't worry, I won't forget it. Now, I can go ahead and take him back to Madame Meow Meow now, but you see those rocks over there? And those, uh, here. You see those over there? Only... Yeah. yeah. This chain chomp can eat just about anything, as you will see in a moment. Watch what he can do to these... Oh, you saw that? <laughs> yeah, chow down, Mr. Chain Chomp. <laughs> like I said, he'll eat just about anything. Kind of like me when I eat lunch. Especially at dinner. Oh, he will detect things that can be dug up, but we won't be. We don't have the shovel yet. Oh, and there is also something buried under here, too. So, yeah. This chain chomp can sense anything that's being dug up. Yeah, well, buried, I mean, I can't. Oh yeah, chow down there! <laughs> Come here, Chain Chomp! Eat this fool here! Come on, eat him! Yeah, chow down! Come on, eat this guy here! Oh. 
Come on, eat him. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, coinage. You can never have too much coinage in Koholin Island. Things here are quite expensive. Come on, chow down here. Oh, try not to get my ass handed to me. I'm trying to go for the best ending possible. And you can only get the best ending if you don't get a game over at all. Let's go on in. Yo, let's do this. Now, like I said, I'm not taking this guy home just yet. I need him to get inside this dungeon. This is the bottle grotto. Oh. Yeah, I had to light those two torches. Now, in the original Game Boy version... Yeah, in the original Game Boy version... Yeah. Those two torches in the front don't stay lit. Let's go to here for now. Yeah, I have to deal with this shy guy here. Open this chest here. We get the compass. Now. There is an owl statue that needs a stone beak. Now in the Game Boy version, you can actually a attack these uh, shy guys from over here, but not so. <laughs> I guess it would have been made too easy. And there's another key here. Ow. And I am going to get my ass handed to me if I keep this up. I'm trying not to get my ass kicked. So, we have a small key here. Am I recording? Okay. I'm recording. Right. Moving on. Let's go back this. Oh, shit. go through this door. Now as I said in the original Game Boy version you have to actually relight these torches in order to get that door open again. Oh. One thing I can't stand are these pieces here. Light this torch, see what happens. Oh yeah, it just illuminates the place. Ow! Let's see what we have in this chest here. Hey, we get the stone beak. How about that? How about them apples? Moving on. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> yeah. Try not to get a game over here. Try to avoid these guys. Oh. <laughs> Hop over here, step on this switch, and make this chest up here. Now, how about them apples? Okay, this chest. We get another small key. Can't lift those pots just yet. It looks like we'll have to backtrack to get that key. Great. 
Just great. And that's why I needed that key. Oh. In this room, what you want to do in order to get whatever. Yeah. Oh. And we get the little staircase open. Let's go down here, and we are greeted with a platforming session, yes. A side-scrolling platform session. Section, I mean. Pop up here. Mosey on upstairs. Oh! Ah! We have a one-way door here. And we're going to fight the Hinox. Now the thing to do is not get grabbed by this guy. Uh-oh. Because he will pick you up and throw you around. And he will throw bombs at you. So be very careful. Yeah, take that, you one-eyed freak of nature. No more Psychops. Seriously, Nintendo, what is with you and one-eyed freaks of nature? Oh. First, defeat the imprisoned Pole's voice. And then go for the... Yeah. Skeletal Stalfos. Oh, that guy that just vacuumed up those pieces. Oh, we got our dungeon map. Those guys can be defeated. Yeah. Those guys can be defeated. We have a chest here. And we get some more coinage. Yippee skippy. We get some more powder. And it's a good thing I got that extra key. Because I need it for this door here. Uh oh. So what we have to do. Light these torches. And scare those ghosts away. Open this chest. We get the power bracelet. Now I can lift up those pots and stones. Now I can now I can lift these pots and throw them. And there is another key over here. Hit that crystal switch. Right, we get another small key. Oops. Let's hop over here. Uh oh. Ah! Woo -hoo -hoo 
<laughs> that does not get old. Okay, this is the imprisoned pole's voice that that was being referred to. Ow. Oh. To dispatch a pole's voice, you have to throw something at it. Get rid of this keys. Then we can go for the Stalfos. Take that, you Stalfos. So, now that that's taken care of, we get another key. Hooray! Oh wait, that's the nightmare key! That's what we need. So, now that we've solved this puzzle, let's go up here and see what's up. You'll see another familiar foe from the Mario series, which was the piranha plant that came out of that pipe. Oh, Nintendo! Mosey on back down here, and we'll wind up back here. Uh, this is what would. This is the little shortcut we created, just in case we happen to get a game over, which I seriously hope to Hylia that I don't, because I want to get the best ending possible. I want to see it with my own peepers, my eyes. That is. Moving on. Here's another Pole's voice to dispatch. Now in the original Zelda game for the NES, Pole's voices can be defeated with sound. In the Japanese version, you can dispatch a Pole's voice by using the second controller's mic <laughs> because the Famicom, the two controllers were hardwired to the console itself and the second controller had <laughs> a mic built in. I wonder why that never made it to the States. Okay, these platforms here, oh my gosh. Yeah, they can definitely go down with your weight. Now in the original Game Boy version, you could not take this pot past this point. But, I guess in this version because, yeah, now we can carry that pot past that point. And with this pot, we can actually weigh ourselves down in order to lower this platform. This guy's probably saying, Man, get your fat ass off of me! Moving on. Here we are at the door of the Nightmare's Chamber. Let's go kick some ass and chew gum. And I'm all out of gum. I'm about to whip somebody's ass. Oh, I'm about to whip somebody's ass Oh, if you don't leave me alone You're gonna have to send me home Cause I'm about to whip somebody's ass Okay, the genie. This fire juggling monstrosity will throw fireballs at us. So this is what I do. Ow! Try not to get hit by those fireballs. And when he retreats into his bottle, the bottle will hop about the place. And you can stun that bottle, pick it up and throw it. This is one of those two-phase boss battles. Throw it at the wall, and now rinse and repeat. In the Game Boy version, he'll just repeat the same thing. He'll just repeat the same speech over and over again.
Okay, on to phase two. Now he's really pissed. Now he will create multiple. But. Now you gotta figure out which one is the real one. Ow! This guy is kicking my ass! I am hoping not to get a game over! Finish him! That was too close. I got that last... I thought I was finished for sure. Anyway, now that the genie's been dispelled, dispatched, destroyed, <laughs> now that we've destroyed the genie, we can mosey on over to the next room and collect our second prize, which is... The Conch Horn. The Prairie. The Prairie. The Prairie is waiting. Anyway, we, we can actually revisit this dungeon. Let's do that real quick. I didn't, I didn't see that rock there before though. I don't think that rock was there in the original version. Uh, another thing to note about this version, you can actually have a dedicated button for your, for your power bracelet. Otherwise, you would have had to equip it to either A or B in the original version. Ooh, 50 rupee prize. Nice. Right. Time to haul ass back to Maid Village and return this canine, return this canine ball here to Madam Meow Meow. Let's cut through the mysterious woods. The mysterious forest. Yeah. Oop. Eat up. Eat him up. Eat him up. <laughs> um, now that we have this, now that we have this, we can mosey on in here. But we cannot get anything in this cave. We don't have the right equipment. So... So let's just head on out and back to Maid Village. Ow! Where did you come from? My... Let's... Hey! Hey, it's a secret stairway. Nice. Let's go in here. I forgot about that. Let's see. Let's see what happens when we sprinkle some magic powder here. Oh, little devil not too happy about being woken up. He will let me carry more magic powder. Hooray! Ah! How shocking! Okay, so now we can carry more magic powder. Hooray! Now that I have the power bracelet, I can actually lift up these skulls. Moving on. Uh. Hey, let's go in here. I think now I can do something about getting that... I... well... We'll see once we get over to that part of the room. Oh shit, that was too close. I thought that floor was gonna crumble under my weight. Yeah, eat up. Eat it up. Pick up these rocks. 
put this gold. And now we get another heart container assembled with all four pieces of heart. How nice! Mine. Moving on. Alright, let's get out of here. a shell. If we collect ten of them, something good is bound to happen. Ow! Not that. <laughs> Not being attacked by drops or whatever you are. Oh! <laughs> Mine. Let's mosey on this way. As, as I was saying, <laughs> now... And there's Marin right there. Let's see what... Let's, before we go shopping, let's go take this barking ball and chain back to Madame Meow Meow. Hello, Madame Meow Meow. Lucky me. <laughs> okay, now that you're safe at home, let's mosey on over to the Mabe shop. Now I gotta warn you, like I said before, this guy does not like shoplifters. Let's see how much the shovel is. Oh, hell no! 200 rupees for a... Yeah, this guy does not like shoplifters. If you try to steal it and you're successful, you'll be called thief for the rest of the game. Hmm. Now that we got the power bracelet, let's go through a little dungeon. It's not that long at all. Actually, no. Uh, actually, no. We'll have to come back here later. What I am going to do is go in here. I'm going to try to go for that Yoshi doll. Oh, please let me get that Yoshi doll. Yeah! Oh, hell yeah! No thanks. I'm just gonna collect my Yoshi doll here. And we get the Yoshi doll! Hooray! Now then, now that we got the Yoshi doll, I know just where to take it. Yeah, Yoshi makes a cameo appearance. Now, let's go into this house because I believe there's a mother of a child who wants to give that child a Yoshi doll. Ah. There you go. Here's your Yoshi doll. Ah. And we get the hair bow. I know who to give that to. 
Back at Madame Meow Meow's place, there is a chain chomp that is a total fashionista. So, it's in this little doghouse here. Oh! There you go. And we get some hmm, dog food. Hmm, there is somebody just south of the village who would want some dog food. Can't imagine why. Though, though that person just outside the village is an alligator or a crocodile. Or a big lizard anyway. Let's go in here. Hey friend, I have a little something for you. There you go. Yeah, chow down there. Oh, definitely me when I eat. And we get bananas. I gotta stop with the Donkey Kong 64 reference. I sure hope Nintendo releases Donkey Kong 64 on NOS. That would be really something. I mean, they released a Rareware game already. Yes, Banjo, shut up. But yeah, they released... Yeah, they released Banjo-Kazooie on NOS. No, not NES, NOS. So... Let's head on over to the Ukuku Prairie. And I'll... I'll explain once we... Which is east of this village. Trying to raise at least... Ooh, another shell! Something good is bound to happen once we collect 10 shells. Let's see. Two shells. Trying to raise at least 200 rupees. Let's go out. Let's go out. After I... Okay, now that we've got the power bracelet, we can mosey on outside the village. Ow. Get this chest open. Ooh, coinage. How about that? We have enough for the shovel. Let's go back out, go back in again, and see about getting that piece of heart. Ow! Oh, you know what? Oh. Yeah, watch me make a jackass out of myself on the internet. and throw it. Another piece of heart. How nice. 
Right, let's get out of here. Let's go pick up that shovel. Like I said, you can never have too many rupees in Koholan's Island, because as you saw, things here are hella expensive. <laughs> especially key items that we'll need later on. And we get the shovel! Hooray! I think now would be a good time to stop it here. In the next game, we're going to do some more exploring in the Ukuku Prairie. Gather some leaves for a prince who's been kicked out of his own castle. And eventually, to the third dungeon. But until next time, this has been Walk Me Through. I'm Mr. O saying peace, and that's a wrap. And I will see you again next time. Peace! This video is over, but if you enjoyed it, click that like button and give me a comment. And if you want to see more, click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell. That way you'll know when I post more videos. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you want to see more, pay my channel a visit. This is Mr. Orthopedia signing off. Until next time, peace.